All right, here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hot news, okay? Solo queue has been, you know, something the community has been asking for for a really long time. And actually in the 9.2 announcements, they kind of talked about it a little bit. And people are kind of wondering exactly what they're going to do. And they just put up this article uh, going over some of the details. So we're going to check this out really quick before we hop into the games. But uh, yeah, so here we go. This is just posted 42 seconds ago. Well, 42 seconds after I opened it. So here we go. Solo queue. For a long time now, those two words have been a rallying cry for parts of the community whose appetite for World of Warcraft Arena is insatiable. We've been reluctant to simply add a solo queue wrapper around the existing arena format for several reasons, but we've never stopped asking ourselves how we could provide a solo queue experience without falling prey to the problems we foresee with it. Today, we'd like to share more information and insights on the idea we're experimenting with in a future brawl called Solo Shuffle. Okay. Why solo queue? First, we'd like to talk about the reasons player wants solo queue in Arena as we understand them. Many players have a general love for Arena, but their regular partners are not always around to team up. While the group finder is available, players have given us feedback that it can take too long to find suitable partners with the tool. While we are working on improving group finder, we acknowledge that there are times players just want to press a button and start playing. Right. It's like if you want to queue a game of Counter-Strike or you want to queue a game of Heroes of the Storm or League or Dota or... Uh, Warzone, you can just log on your computer, you queue up, you're good to go. You don't have to find partners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the main idea is for people that want to just log on and play, this could be an option for them. Of course, such a solution exists in skirmishes. Players can queue for skirmishes, either solo or in a party, and quickly participate in an arena match to receive honor and conquest. To be fair, they just added conquest. So that is true, but they just added conquest and it's a very minor amount. And for the record, I love skirmishes, but this is just added where you get conquest. Uh, but for many, skirmish is an appealing option. Certainly part of the appeal of arena is the high stakes at play uh, when you put your rating on the line each time you queue up for a match. Seeing your rating uh, increase after a big win is a fundamentally different form of progression than earning honor or conquest to purchase equipment. Gear upgrades are also likely to con contribute as to why skirmishes uh, uh, it's likely to contribute as while well. skirmishes do reward honor conquest, they do not offer rating required to increase the item level of your gear. In general, across the world of Warcraft, the best gear rewards are offered from content that requires pre-made groups, rating, arena, uh, rated battlegrounds, mythic plus, and not queued activities, raid finder, raids, heroic dungeons, battlegrounds, and skirmishes. Right. So, I mean, that's a big part of it, right? That progression system, seeing that you're improving, having your rating on the line, uh, makes it exciting, makes it fun. For some people, some people get queue anxiety, so maybe the skirmishes are gonna be better for them, but it is kind of see, it's cool to see yourself progress. Uh, so while we understand the desire to have solo queue arena, we have some reservations about adding it uh, to existing brackets, 2v2, 3v3 RPGs based on our observations from WoW. In other games, for example, while it's very likely that a solo queue solution will increase the overall participation in arenas, it will also mean players won't need to form groups to participate. While systems like Dungeon Finder and Raid Finder have made content much more accessible, players have also given feedback on the impact of those systems have on social element on the social element of the game. Fair enough. Queued systems can make other players feel more dispensable since replacements are only a few button clicks away. The process of assembling a group for an activity provides immeasurable value to the social dynamic of a game like WoW. As such, we prefer to keep the performed group requirement in place for the 2v2 and 3v3 brackets. Fair enough. Another concern is the impact uh, the team composition can have on the fairness of a match. This is the big, this is the hot button issue, right? Like, this is, this is the thing that so many people are concerned about. This is the thing that so many people are concerned about is that, you know, you queue up solo queue and you get RMP and the other team gets some garbage. You know what I mean? Like the other team is like arcane mage and a outlaw rogue. I mean, I guess that's still a rogue mage, but like, you know what I mean? You're like, uh, the other team is I'm trying to think of the worst comp in WoW, <laughs> like guardian druid. Ah, that's probably pretty good. What's a, so one team's RMP and the other team is Mistweaver, Fury Warrior, Frost Mage. You know, it's not going to be good. So 
yeah, one team will have a huge advantage, and I think that's kind of been their reservation. Players want their skill and commitment to be the primary reason for their successes or failure in WoW. Characters are defined by their classes. When you queue for an activity in WoW, you're playing a specific class and cannot change in response to what your teammates are playing. Arena gameplay is defined by class synergies and certain combinations are inherently stronger than others. For example, uh, suppose there's a match between two teams with equally rated rogues. One uh, on one team, the second DPS is a mage, while on the other team it has a death knight. One of the rogues is going to feel like the matchmaker did them a disservice. If you replace the rogue with a windwalker monk, the uh, evaluation of the mage and death knight changed considerably. Uh, while the response to this problem might be to build a sophisticated matchmaker that takes into account, in our experience, there still be situations uh, where less than ideal pairings occur. I guess the, the counter argument for this is that in that specific matchup, that might be true, right? Like in that specific matchup, it might be true. Um, but what it's all about is consistency over time, right? You can't, you can't just take a look at one game. It's going to be about, you know what I mean? Like if you take some 1600 rogue uh, versus peekaboo and you know, peekaboo gets a bad matchup every once in a while, it's still going to be peekaboo who rises to the top and like finds those win conditions with the weird comps. And over time, theoretically, everyone should have good and bad comps. So I think that that's kind of the idea and kind of the counter argument here. Um, but yeah, going forward, um, we want to uh, put forward a new idea for solo queue that we think addresses the problems above in a unique and novel way. Our idea is a new bracket we're tentatively calling solo shuffle. This bracket is solo queue only. Each time you hit the queue button, you're placed into a cohort of six players comprised of two healers and four damage dealers. The cohort will then play six rounds, six rounds. Okay. Let's finish this and then I'll comment. Hope will play six rounds compri uh, comprising every possible combination of teams made up with one healer and two damage dealers. Players will have to adapt to a wide variety of team compositions, but so will their opponents. So in the case above, both rogues will end up playing with the mage and both rogues will end up playing with the death knight. After all six rounds are completed, players will earn or lose rating based on the result. Um, okay. So a player who wins all six rounds will earn more rating than a player who only wins three rounds. To illustrate further, let's say there are two healers a Holy Paladin and a Resto Shaman, and four DPS. <clears throat> a Rogue, Warlock, Mage Hunter. The six rounds will play out as below. Paladin, Rogue, Warlock. Paladin, Rogue, Mage. Paladin, Rogue, Hunter. Paladin, Mage Hunter. Paladin, Warlock, Hunter. Paladin, Warlock, Mage. And then, of course, on the other side, it's Shaman with the same combination. So you're going to play six different combinations in this brawl. Okay. Now, before we move forward, I just want to say... The big reservation with this is World of Warcraft 3v3 games can take a long time. A long time, okay? Like, they can also be really fast. Like, you can just run in and blow your cooldowns and kill someone instantly. But, as someone, you know, who showcasted the AWC, you also have matchups that can take 20 minutes. One matchup can take 20 minutes. And, I mean, if you're rolling worst-case scenario... Worst case scenario, let's say a ga each game is like 10 minutes long, depending on what classes are playing. That's, that's going to be an outlier. But even though it's an outlier, it's still going to be awful. You know what I mean? Like you queue up for a solo shuffle, each game's 10 minutes. That's an hour for one match. Okay. So I wanna, I'm curious to see if they have any sort of solution for this. Of course, six rounds of traditional 3v3 arena has the potential to take a considerable amount of time. Oh, look at this. When players queue up for an activity, we prefer to not require over 30 minutes of their time. No lo uh, the longer the activity goes, the less likely people are to queue for it, and the more likely they are to abandon a match in progress. So there will be some fundamental differences in solo shuffle that forces the games to end quicker. Naturally, the lack of coordination from pre-made groups uh, will likely result in faster kills, but to help ensure each round re uh, revol resolves in two to three minutes, there will be some rule changes. I like it! Let's see. Unlike regular arena, the first team to kill an opponent will immediately win the round. Okay. So you're not going to have those frickers that just run around a pillar stalling out the game. Mana regeneration is further restricted and drinking will work differently. Okay. No drinking. So mana regeneration is restricted and drinking will work differently. Okay. If a player leaves, the match is resolved as if the player lost every round. Okay. Uh, these are nice, but I, I, I almost wish it was different. I almost wish instead of mana regeneration, because like this mana regeneration thing is going to impact certain healers more than others, I think. So, and what about arcane mages? Like if you're an arcane mage, you rely on your mana a lot. But anyways, I digress. It's probably just for healers. 
I kind of wish what they did instead is just started dampening. Like my feedback to them would be do dampening exactly like it is in twos. As soon as the gates open, dampening is ticking up. I would like that a lot more than this mana regeneration thing. Like literally the gates open, dampening's at 0%, 1%, super, it immediately starts going. There's no delay, just like in 2v2. So that I would like that a lot more, to be honest with you, even if the game started in dampening. Like literally, gates open, 20% dampening immediately. I, I would like that. Um, uh, but yeah, I guess we'll see uh, how this goes. We're approaching the idea carefully as adding a new format to PvP is a big commitment. Our intent is to implement this idea as a PvP brawl first so we can experiment with the format, discover any problems, and receive your feedback. If the format is well received during the brawl, we can dig into the plan for rating changes, dealing with people abandoning the match, how the latter will work, and rewards. The article is the first step of the process, so please share your thoughts in our forums and Warcraft devs on Twitter, the Warcraft team. So, there you go. This is their idea for solo queue. It's going to start off as a brawl. I think in general, this is a great this is a great solution um there there are some problems like I, like i said but it seems like they kind of foresee that as well matchups could be a really long time if you keep six arena matches but the idea of kind of shuffling up your composition um could be really great so yeah i'm excited uh one more issue i kind of see i don't know i don't really know actually i do know exactly what they do about this so here's another thing um that's really really important is certain classes and their toolkit is much better, much well-rounded. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example, okay? Uh, so if you are a mage player, okay, and you play fire mage, your toolkit is much more well-rounded. Like your ability to w impact the game by yourself, like a fire mage or shadow priest, your ability to impact the game by yourself and win is significantly higher than let's say a frost mage. Like a frost mage, you don't really have tools to end the game. You just have damage. You just have damage and a little bit of like defensive CC and stuff like that. But actually ending the game is significantly harder because you don't have like dragon's breath to set yourself up. You don't have psychic horror to instantly get crowd control or silence to instantly get crowd control. So certain specs are significantly better in a format like that. And as a result, I think what they need to do is have spec specific rating. So if you're someone who plays a garbage spec, like a Fury Warrior, um, or like, I mean, Frost Mages are okay right now, but in the past, Frost Mages is absolute trash. If you play Frost Mage or you play a Fury Warrior, I really feel like your rating should be based off of um, other people who play your spec. Like, you should only be compared to people playing your spec because certain specs inherently are going to be way better. So I think spec-specific rating for like a solo shuffle uh, would would be amazing. You know what I mean? Like imagine you're a Mistweaver at the beginning of the expansion uh, you, and you have to compare yourself to like a Paladin at the beginning of the expansion. Like you're, you're completely screwed. There's no way you're going to be able to compete. So I think another element they could add to, uh, you know, remove some of the class imbalance issues is make it so you have spec-specific rating. I would love that. And if they do that, I think this could be a great success. And then people could actually play like some of those more niche specs and try to still get rewards and stuff, etc., without being like severely disadvantaged. So that's what I would like to see. Um, that, but yeah, the idea in general is really, really cool. I mean, uh, for myself, being able to just log on and play would be absolutely fantastic. Right now, I do a lot of skirmishes, I do like viewer games, stuff like that. But uh, it would be absolutely sick if I could actually queue like a rated format. Okay, so that's my thoughts and feedbacks, uh, thoughts and feedback uh, toward this post. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm curious to see if this is something, I mean, do you agree with my points of feedback? Do you think I'm crazy? Like, uh, what would you like to see um, in this specific, in this specific, um, you know, iteration uh, of, you know, PP format? Yeah, I'm curious. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.